to the meat of the video. I just want to um, let everybody know that this is not something typical that guide dogs does, um, running with their legally blind, low vision, blind partner. Um, so I know this is not typical. Um, not, a, not a lot of schools see this as a, a um, training that they want to implement in their curriculum when you go into um, that situation. And I also understand that because I am doing this, I may be blackballed from certain um, guide dog schools because I decide to run with my guide dog. Um, I'm not sure what the politics is behind it. I'm not trying to dive in and guess. This is something that I want to do personally. So um, if you have a guide dog, you know, definitely talk to the school that you got your guide dog from. Um, make sure, you know, to see how they feel about it. I got Roxy from Pala Dogs and they have trained one other individual to run with their guide dog because she did a high school track. So this is my personal journey. This is not something typical. I know it, it can be something controversial in our in our community, and I'm okay with that. I understand what I may be doing. I may not be able to participate in certain guy schools. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not going to go through a list of what schools do agree with it and what schools don't, but I do align myself with um, guide dog schools that are extremely innovative and creative and thinking outside of the box of helping people with a visual impairment be more active as well as doing things that they used to do when they had sight or embracing the knowledge that whatever anyone else can do if you have the passion and the willingness to do it and to learn and be patient to kind of support you and learn that. So I did want to come on let you know that um, so this is my personal journey this is something that I'm doing for myself this is something that I want to share with with my best friend Roxy um, who just happens to be my guide dog so again also with Roxy she's not going to run the whole 13 miles at all um, we're only going to run a mile together that's it and I'm going to finish with a sighted guy running tandem the remaining 12 miles run walk so I also wanted to clarify that as well I didn't want you guys to think that she's going to run the whole 30, 13 miles she is not um, my husband will be with me and after her mile he will take her and they'll just kind of be chilling at the festival um, while mommy finishes her race with her with her friend so yeah i hope you guys understand and it's so weird you know anytime you do something that's not the norm I, i'm expecting to not get a lot of understanding but i'm hoping that you guys enjoy my journey and take it as it is for something that i want to do personally for myself and, and and doing so raising money um, to go to a school that has a program set up for guide dogs to learn how to run with their blind companions. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Hi everybody. Um, today's video is, I just want to share something personal that I'm embarking on that I'm pretty excited about. Um, last year I worked with my company and I'll link the video down below because I, I think I shared it if you want to check it out. Um, I worked with my company and they made a donation to the guide dog school I got Roxy from of $10,000 and I kind of want to keep that momentum going of giving back to organizations that support the visually impaired and blind community. and. There was two people that I have met that have really inspired me, and I'll also link um, information about both of them below. Um, one man's name is Richard Hunter, and his guide dog Klinger, and he is a um, ex-veteran um, that is losing his vision, and he has ran so many marathons. And the cool thing about it is that he received the very first guide dog that has been trained to run with him from a New York blind school called Guiding Eyes for the Blind. So his story really inspired me of, you know, even though you may be losing your vision, you can still 
do what you love in regards to different activities and being active and getting out there, out of your house, um, out of becoming a hermit, you can still participate in life. So meeting him and another gentleman by the name of Bill Barkley, who tags himself as a deaf-blind adventurer, he has hyped, he has done amazing things. So definitely check out his website below. But just seeing the passion and the motivation and determination of these individuals of giving back by bringing awareness to um, our community, showing people that may not have the knowledge that we can do just about anything that um, sighted people are able to do. It's just a different, unique perspective of how we can accomplish that. Driven me to in determining my purpose for 2018. Last year, I mean 2017, last year I was able to give back to my guide dog school and this year I wanted to do a fundraiser to give back to the school in New York that really, really support and understand the need for blind people not only being mobile but also to be active and do things in sports and activities that, you know, may have been a challenge before. So I am going to run a half marathon. It's um, going to be with the, I think it's called Grand Circle Trail Fest. It's in Kanab, Utah, on October 5th at Bryce Canyon. And this is not only just for me to prove that I can do it, but also just to remembering my purpose and remembering my focus and remembering that I'm more than just my disability. And I definitely do things daily to remind myself of that, but this type of adventure is kind of like gonna be my year-ending example of, of doing something that's impossible. Um, I think this quote is for, it's from Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, always, and I'm paraphrasing, it's not word for word, do something you're afraid of every day. And I live by that. I do something every day that I'm afraid of, that I'm hesitant on. I kind of jump in with both feet. And if I fail, I fail, but at least I learn from my experience. And if I succeed, I succeed. It's also a learning experience regardless. So that's, I, that's a quote I really do live by. But not only am I doing this marathon for my personal reasons to show that I can um, at least attempt and succeed to do it, but in conjunction, I'm also um, running a fundraiser um, for, like I said, the School Guiding Eyes for the Blind in New York. And um, I made a blog page um, with the help of another individual, um, created the web page for me. And it's basically a blog page where, one, you can um, follow me on my journey. So I'll definitely link that, um, web that blog page down below the website. I'm really excited. Um, it's not like your typical website that a lot of YouTubers do in regards to fashion or things like that. It's really about my personal mission of giving back to the, the same community and organizations that support the visually impaired and blind. Like people like me, I want to give back to them. I think that's important. I, I don't want to be just getting benefits. If I can do whatever I can do, if it's just awareness or anything, I want to be able to give back. So um, it's called Roxy's Guiding Eyes. And you guys already know Roxy's my guide dog. <laughs> um, so we're going to do this together. Now, obviously, Roxy wasn't trained to run. So this whole entire year, I've been prepping not only myself physically, but also Roxy um, to make sure we're doing it safely. Now, I'm not going to have Roxy run uh, the whole entire 13 miles. I don't even know if I can run the whole 13 miles. Um, for Roxy, we're going to go ahead and just run a mile. And I will be accompanied by a sighted guide um, and we'll be doing tandem running. And I'll share, I definitely do videos and share more about what all this 
stuff means, but basically tandem running is, is that I have a rope that's tied to my waist and to my sighted guy's waist, so that way we're guiding and running at the same pace. So this is going to take a lot of preparation. I just have to get physically fit and raise my stamina. Stamina. I also have to um, train and, and make sure Roxy is cleared and physically able to do a mile. If not, then she's not going to run at all. My success is just getting there and finishing it. <laughs> it's very important to have your success outlined so that way you don't get disappointed. My success is just to get there and finish. If Roxy can't do it, I'm not going to make her do something she can't do. She's my baby. I love her. I don't want to hurt her. So, so far so good. We're doing really well. Roxy's really um, happy about it. And all the, the weight that she gained that, you know, we're working on losing, she's been losing it really, 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 really fast because of the exercise regimen. But anyway, off topic, topic I'm going off, of course. But anyway, so it's a lot of preparation, um, learning how to run with my dog, you know, the rhythm, and then learning to run with another person with a rope around your waist. Um, I had to make sure I reached out to the organization that's doing this run if it was okay for me to be accepted as a blind individual, and I got that clearance. There's a lot of things I had to put in place um, to make it happen. And these, these things are just coming together and I'm getting approval. I have to get my vest, my running vest, um, that has reflectors on it, but also has the words blind. So that way other runners know um, that I'm a blind runner, legally blind runner. So I'm just really, really, really excited. And so far I've raised um, a little over $2,000 towards the cost and 100% of the donations are going straight to the school. So if you click on my link with um, Roxy Guiding Eyes, it'll take you straight to the school website. And um, whatever donation, if you wanna make a donation, you definitely can, you don't have to. But whatever donation you make, just make sure you put it in the honor of Roxy so that way they know that it was from my initiative. So I'm really, really excited to share this journey with you guys. The next clip um, I'll be showing you is actually me training with my husband and Roxy um, on a trail outside. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you feel as passionate as I feel about this. Obviously it's my life, but it just feels good to put good energy back in the universe and, and do something positive and have like a purpose. Um, more so than just your physical appearance and how my hair looks or my makeup looks. This makes me feel good on the inside. So I hope you guys definitely check out my blog um, just to follow my journey. Even if you don't want to donate, that's fine. Just check out my blog and get the updates to see how I'm going. And I definitely will do updated videos to, to share that as well. So bye guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Out in the park, protected with the hat and sunglasses from the sun, because the sun really hurts my eyes. I do have some peripheral vision, so <clears throat> when I roll with my sighted guide, at the marathon, half marathon, we will have a tether, a rope connected, but right now to get prepared, I'm running with my husband. We don't have that tether. We're just using our hands, putting our hands together and running. But I also could tell when I'm running on flat surfaces and I kind of swerve to the grass and I can correct myself. Um, so yeah, just out and about and just ready to run. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This video, I'm so excited to like do it and I'm just really pumped. <laughs> Thank you. 
shoes. They're not pretty, they're not fancy, but they're working in. I never want to put my brand new sneakers when your belts are going to have them. I still got a couple of months, but those are the sneakers I'm going to be running in. I love them.